This is Nils Kaminga. I'm a design student in Barcelona. And I would say that my passion is exploring on a bike, anything on a bike. I started cycling when I was just a few years old. I would follow my brother. Uh, he was always also into bikes. He started BMXing, I started too. Uh, many years later in university, my first years, I was working as a delivery boy. It was on the first summer of university, I think, that I took a trip to Toronto. I cycled from Toronto to New York and everything was on my fixed gear. I had no bikepacking set up. I didn't even know anything about it. I just wanted to get out of my environment and get lost somewhere. And I, I saw that there was a lot of room of, for improvement there. So on my third year of university it was, I did an exchange to Vancouver and I went to a fashion design school and there I learned how to sew. And actually, the last project that I did there, it was a set of bikepacking bags when I was a little bit more fluent in confection, I guess. Um, and to test them, I did the Pacific Coast Trail. I went from San Francisco to Vancouver. And the first thing I did when I got back to Spain was to look for a rusty old industrial sewing machine and just kept sewing, just kept making things for me, my friends, my family. And I guess that a little bit is an excuse. After anything I made, I tried to do a trip or any kind of adventure to test if my manufacturing and my designs and everything I was making would withstand a real challenge. When I met the guys at Xcore, it was just a a casual ride around the like near the headquarters and I just loved their enthusiasm for the bike and the way they they lift cycling it was just same as me getting lost exploring no worries just yeah enjoying the ride and it was on that same ride that they saw the bags that were hanging on my bike and they asked me if I was interested to, in a collaboration. I never even thought about selling the bags or you know, anything beyond just having fun making them. So yeah, it was a great opportunity. And it was completely because of that that I started the brand Akin. Um, yeah, ever since then I've been working on it slowly but steadily. I've got new things coming, website coming. It's yeah, it's exploding.